Out there? Donna Summers, Kirk Franklin, Brit, Big One Eighty Two, Savage Garden, Santa Claus in the Woods, yeah. Marshmallow, Smash Mouth, Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray, Andy Irvine, Whitney Houston, Destiny's Child, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. Britney's okay, Britney. She, she's alright. Brian Carey, Ricky Martin, Beethoven, both James Brown, different kinds of people singing. Christmas time, show shows your love. Mozart. Asul, Asul. Mike Patton. Kids of Whitney High. The kids of Whitney High. Kids of Whitney High. And the kids over here. The kids. The kids. The kids of Whitney High. So you gonna ask me some question? This is music class. Yeah, here, right here in this class, we do, we do songs. We do, we uh um, think of some songs, and then Mike Monaghan, uh. He gets a paper and then writes out the, writes out what he's gonna write. Whoever says something, whoever says something, because you gotta think of a, of a, of a, what kind of a song is gonna, is gonna be. It's a songwriting class. You know, we sit, we sit here uh, every day, talk about um, things that were, interest us. Um, I mean, I, I look at it more than, it's not just a songwriting class, you know, if you took a songwriting class at UCLA Extension or something, that's all you do in there. But, you know, we talk about all kinds of stuff, you know, royalties, um, you know, family problems, uh, <clears throat> you know, what's happening in the world. What I like best is going, going to the gigs, having a good time with my friends, stuff like that. Stuff I never get to do much anymore. I say, uh, hello guys, hello, welcome. And it's just fun, it's just fun playing. You know? I love singing, especially when it comes to, you know, when we go to gigs, I get all crazy, start laughing. Yeah, it's just, it's just fun. I love it. What's going through your head? What are you thinking inside, though? Inside? Yes. Singing. It's just cool. Like playing some music. It's just fun. I... 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 Like... To go to the source. It's okay. I like, I like being in the singing. Uh, like it's okay. I like the way that they say, "All right, guys. How are you guys doing out there? Fine." It's, it's I know it's fun. Uh, not the gigs are really fun. At uh, that I know. That's all. It's possible that someone, you know, one of the kids might see themselves in a situation where other people are making fun of them, and that's something that obviously I've been extremely sensitive to right from the beginning. If you respect us because we we don't like people saying mean things but first off it's not it's not nice. Secondly I I don't agree with people saying mean things about this group because they they don't get like they don't have no idea how we feel unless they feel it them, themselves. Say well um because of the music that um, you know people like us, or is, or is it because they feel like sorry for us, and, that, and that's why they come and you know and you know see us? And personally, I ask that question to myself. 
do, do, do these people really like our music or they just you know come and see us because they're, they, they, they feel sorry for us and, and because they don't want you know like when we play um, and we, we, we feel that nobody is there. These kids are sharp. <laughs> They cut me down to the bone a couple times, man. <laughs> Literally, you know, like making all that screaming sounds. What? <laughs> you sound like a uh, one of my. One of them told me that I reminded them of their one of their dogs. <laughs> you know, and the whole but they told me this in front of you know my band and a bunch of people that were watching the sound check. Everybody just. <laughs> and a woman from Warner Brothers came to Mike before the show and said, you know, what what are you doing? You know, you have these retarded kids up there on stage, Here, you know, what do you, just what do you think, you know, and, and I said, look, just watch that, just reserve judgment and watch the show. And they said they went down and he started to play, and, um, and she, they said within a song, this woman was just over there with a big smile on her face. I see pretty girls everywhere I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, at the pool. At the pool, at the park, at the park, in my dreams. I would love to see the kids uh, out there in a way in which people wouldn't have to search to hear about them, you know? I'm saying, you know, I figure if you want to start your own band, go for it. If you feel like you have a lot of faith in your friends and yourself, go for it. Deserve to, you know, to do it the way we do it, you know? Just try to do do things that you you would like to do, but you know, try to come up with what what you like and then write it down. But if you if you can be, you know, walking like you. If you want to do it, go for it. Don't, don't just say, okay, we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do that. But write it down first and then sit, discuss it. Who are the band members on? And don't let nobody stop. Do not let no one stop. And there was a kid who was in the, on the first record, Gerardo. I could do some things to a certain advantage. Um, he graduated, and it was in a year or so after he graduated, and he came back to school. And I could, you know, really kind of help other people help other people realize that it's okay, you know. And I said, hey, you know, how, how's it going? And I said, so, so do you still listen to the, to the music? He goes, not on Sundays. If you, if they, if some person doesn't understand you, it's not your fault. It's not your problem. It's going to be theirs. They, they, they will, they're the ones that will be trying to tell you, look, you got to do it this way. Oh, oh, so you listen to it every other day except for Sunday? Yeah, no, I don't listen to it every Sunday. And it was like, obviously this stuff is pretty powerful. Cold me, cold me, and never let me go. You take it to the mainstream. The band, I mean, I hope they, you know, get more, um... You know, like, uh, I really think that all the... I, I think that art is supposed to connect you to your higher self. You know, I think that it should be healing. Um, I hope they get more gigs. You know, I hope they, I hope they make it. I hope they go out. You know, come up. I hope they come up. Inspiring. And I hope they get to go back to San Francisco again. Whatever they want, whatever they, whatever their dream is, I hope it comes true. I mean, gosh, what if that was on to your own, you know? Then how much nonsense would just be chopped away, like, if immediately, you know? Like, all of a sudden, all the people who are that, you know, might listen for a second. And you know, you just gotta stand up for yourself and say, no, I'm doing it my way, or it's no way at all. So the best thing for you to do while you're here is to enjoy your life. That's what I think. That's exactly what I think. How happy does it make you?